What's going on everyone? So for today, I'm just gonna be doing a very simple look for you guys. This is more of like an everyday look. So first, I'm gonna start out by doing my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I also use the Dip Brow, but I usually use that for like more dramatic looks because it comes out a little bit darker, even though it's the same color. Now I'm gonna be taking my Too Faced concealer in the color Almond and I'm going to be carving out my eyebrows. So fun fact about this concealer, um, it has coconut water inside of it, like infused with it, which most of the Too Faced products do. And so it's very like hydrating and nourishing and I love it. This is also the same concealer that I use under my eyes and in my T-zone. Um, even though I'm oily, but I just love how it feels and how it goes on so smooth. So now eyebrows are done. So now I'm gonna be going in with the Power Fabric by Giorgio Armani. I really like this foundation. This is in the shade four. It's like a like a medium to full coverage, but for one, it's a really good color for me. And for two, it blends in so nicely. So it's not too heavy on the skin um, and it just looks really, really natural. And I am obsessed with this foundation. I probably actually need to go get some more. Now I'm going to go back in with that same Too, Too Faced concealer and I'm going to put it everywhere that I want to highlight my face. Um, I also do put it a little bit on my cheeks like underneath where my contour would go. Not only to brighten underneath my contour but also because I have a little bit of acne there. So um, like that's where all of my acne scarring and stuff like that is so it helps to cover that as well. And I'm also blending all of this out with the Beauty Blender. Now personally, I'm not a big fan of the Real Beauty Blender just because it is so soft that sometimes it picks up more of the product than it's putting down, but it seemed to work pretty well um, with this foundation and this concealer. Now I'm going to go in with the Airspun Powder. This is my favorite drugstore powder. I like the Laura Mercier one too, but as an everyday powder, I usually go with the Airspun just because, I mean, it's cheaper. You can get it at Target way better price point than the Laura Mercier. The only complaint that I have about it is that it kind of has like a pink undertone on it or with it so you have to be careful with it but it is a very very good powder and I also do go ham with it because I'm oily and I just used a concealer that it has coconut water in it so i'm gonna be even more oily so i do go ham with it sometimes i'll bake but um for that day i didn't then i realized i had some crusty lips so i went in with my brits bees um it's like a nourishing lip oil it's not like a chapstick it's just a lip oil then now i'm going in with my butter bronzer um, by physicians formula i really really like this bronzer because it is super like natural and it smells like coconuts but it's like the perfect color for me. It's not too harsh and it's like super, super, super easy to blend out. So yeah, I love it. Next, I'm going in with the Pixie Blush. You can also get this at Target. It is very, very good price point. Um, I notice in a lot of my videos, I say very, very a lot or like really, really. I don't I don't know why but anyways so now I'm gonna go in with the morphe setting spray this is just gonna melt all the powders together and make it look like skin instead of powder and it's just gonna give me um, like a nicer finish now I'm gonna go in with the pretty vulgar highlight um, I got this in my boxy charm in February I want to say maybe January I think it was February and I am obsessed it is so pretty like look at that I literally put it all over my face just because it is so pretty. It is pretty blinding, actually. But yeah. Now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop palette. I actually created this palette. Well, not created, but, you know, I like bought the singles and then put it in the palette. So I'm going to go in with Paper Tiger and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I figured this color would go really nicely with the top that I was wearing. I was originally going for like a spring look, but then it kind of turned into like fall vibes. So sorry about that, but uh, yeah, here we are. 
but anyways yeah i put this all over my lid and then i go in with crisscross which is like just a orangey color and i put that on the outer v that's just to deepen it up and add a little bit more depth in my eye so yeah and then i'm i'm gonna end up going in with a wing eyeliner so i'm dragging it out pretty far not like super far but you know you know what i mean and now i'm taking these same colors and i'm putting those on my lower lash line i'm not doing anything too fancy i just want something on my eyes that way you know I, I look beat but i'm really not beat like i was super lazy but you know you know you gotta make it look good and there i go singing again that's yeah Skylar, nobody can hear the music that you're listening to. Stop. Okay, now I'm gonna take Icy from the Daisy Marquez palette and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. Now, y'all, this palette is so good. I did a video on it. Um, I think it was like the second to last video I did or something like that. Um, but it was so, so, so good and I created a pretty bomb look. So go check that out. And then now I'm taking the roller liner, which this is a fairly new eyeliner. They came out with it maybe like three months ago and it is really, really good. It's super pigmented and it's like twice as dark as the Stila liner and it is just my favorite. I love it so much. Now I'm going to go in with the roller liner by Benefit. I mean, roller lash, excuse me, by Benefit. I like this one because it curls your lashes whenever you put them on and it makes them like blend in really really nice with the falsies now i'm gonna go in with the lashes by miss a um and this is in the style melissa i also did a video with miss a um maybe like a month or two ago and i did a full face with miss a so go check that one out too you'd actually be surprised on what you can find miss a is a store that's everything is a dollar so these lashes y'all were a dollar 55 and the only reason why they have the extra 55 cents is because they are the premium lashes but they are so good i love them for a dollar 55 girl i'm used to paying like 12 15 dollars for a pair of lashes sometimes more now i'm gonna go in with the hot buttered rum liquid lipstick by Too faced um this was a part of their holiday collection so they don't sell it anymore and i really really like this color um my only complaint is that it is a little bit drying so sometimes i'll mix aquaphor in with my lipstick or i'll put aquaphor over the top and that'll just settle that you could even use the um burt's bees lip oil that i used earlier but so yeah that completes the look um i got had little space buds in which i'm not used to so i hope you guys like those but anyways yeah i appreciate you guys so much for watching and if you made it this far make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye